AMOLED IDE is a global multi-center randomized clinical trial which compared a dual mechanism left atrial appendage closure device called Am AMOLED against a single mechanism closure device called Watchman in stroke prophylaxis for patients who have known atrial fibrillation who are at a relatively higher risk for stroke with a CHADS2 VASC score of more than or equal to three and are clinically eligible for oral anticoagulation but at a relatively high risk for long-term bleeding complications. In this randomized controlled trial, a total of 1,878 patients were randomized between the Watchman and the Emulet in one-to-one -one ratio. And patients were followed up at 45 months, 6 months, 12 months, 18, 36, and 5 years. Currently, we are presenting our data at the end of the 18-month follow-up. The first primary endpoint was the mechanism of closure looking at leaks less than 5 millimeters. The AMOLED device not only met the non-inferiority, but it also met a superiority endpoint with a significantly better closure than the Watchman device. For the safety primary endpoints, we looked at the composite endpoints of bleeding and other procedure-related complications up to 12 months. What we noted was there was a slightly higher incidence of periprocedural complications in the amulet arm compared to that of the watchman, but this was primarily related to the operator experience. Once the operators crossed six cases, these complications leveled off and came down and reached a normal rate. The third primary endpoint was the efficacy endpoint of stroke and systemic thromboembolic events. The amulet device reached non-inferiority compared to that of the watchman device and was found to be equal in the efficacy rates. So when you look at the overall clinical relevance of this particular study, we found that the AMOLED device is non-inferior to that of the watchman. However, because of the dual closure mechanism, you have a much better opportunity to close more difficult appendages with more heterogeneous anatomy, which are currently found to be difficult for closure with the watchman device. And you would also notice, like any other medical devices or cardiac devices, there is a bit of a learning curve involved here, and especially for the US operators, where a maximum number of patients were enrolled, there was a slightly higher incidence of complications during the early phases of the study, and once they reached a certain level of experience, these complications leveled off and came down.